Now we're gonna check out lot eight, which is directly in front of us there in the, what I call the front left corner of the neighborhood. I say that because here's the access to the neighborhood from Walker. Here's lot number nine. They are doing uh, installation of siding today on lot number eight, so there will be some nail gun noise. As we get here to um, where lot eight is located, you'll notice that first it's abutting the uh, water retention area. This is basically where um, the low point is for the neighborhood, if you will, and water will naturally flow in this direction this area there will be landscaping uh, in this area and as you can see it's going to provide a nice little buffer between Walker Road as well so facing the house is the side of lot number nine pretty much a dead end for this to get into this house so entry is going to be on our right side garage is on the left I'm just going to enter us through the garage this is a three-car garage with a man door installed which takes you directly to the outside of the house From the door on the right, it'll take us through the mudroom area and into the back of the kitchen. So as you step in from the garage to the left, there's gonna be a bench and some uh, coat hangers for like a mudroom area. To the right is directly into the kitchen and living space. But before that, you have this hallway with a full bath here on the ground floor and a bedroom with walk-in closet uh, behind here. So here's that bathroom. There'll be a shower on the left, toilet and vanity here on the right. And going into this bedroom, there's a walk-in closet on the back right. It's a really long rectangular room. The ceilings are 10 feet on the ground floor. Here's uh, the closet area. And just to give you the view on the back of lot number eight from the ground floor bedroom, that's the view. This is all gonna be grass here. And it's really deep. You have a really nice big backyard here. So panning to the right. You can hardly see the cars. But really, it's a huge backyard. Here's to the left. Okay. So we're gonna exit this bedroom and head into the kitchen. There's gonna be cabinetry and your refrigerator will be on this wall. Island with sink in the corner. Immediately to the left is going to be where the range is located. And then directly ahead there is where the pantry is. Pantry in the corner, to the right, dining room. And then your great room. If you haven't already seen the video walkthrough for lot number six, that is a more completed version of this same floor plan. So definitely check that out. 
That plan does feature some upgrades that this home does not have. Here's the covered patio area. It's a really big patio. And then that will take you out here to the yard. And I believe I can see there's gonna be uh, some steps, probably a, a railing maybe. But You know, you hear the road, sure, on that side, and it's really not bad. But on this side, what all I hear are chirping birds. I would honestly say the birds are equal to the sound of the cars and traffic. So it's a balance you have of nature here and urban living. Get the best of both. So again, just trying to give perspective on this backyard grass area, but it's huge. It looks like it's gently sloping again down that way. But really nice. It's going to be plumbed for outdoor barbecue, gas line. We're in the dining room. built-in cabinets on either side of the fireplace. Walking towards the entry, really nice wide hallway. It's vaulted as you come into the front door area. Go up the stairs. Time and time again, people tell me how much they like this floor plan once they walk through it. So as you go up the stairs, immediately to the left is gonna be the vaulted bonus room. This is gonna be a great space for play and imagination you could use it as for many different purposes media room exercise room hangout room game room etc as you go past the bonus room you have one of the smaller bedrooms here on the left but it's definitely not small quite larger than when i grew up it does have a closet and to the right is our junior suite so this is a full bedroom with bathroom. Come down around this corner, you've got closet space here. And then to the back, a full shower, toilet and vanity. Really good size room. You come out of the room and back to the left will take you to the corridor where the primary bedroom is. Before that, we have an additional bedroom here to the right. The closet. Now this home, uh, this side I mean, is facing Walker. So this is the view from this bedroom. And 
Now going to the right. First, there is the uh, upstairs hall bath. So this would be shared uh, or used, I would say, primarily with this room and that bedroom and the bonus room. Again, the junior suite has its own bathroom and the primary suite has its own bathroom. Uh, right before the primary suite to the left on this plan is the laundry room. It's gonna be a really long, large laundry room. And then you enter the primary suite through French doors. And then to the right there is the bathroom. Before we do that, let's show you the view from the primary suite. Okay, so now we enter the primary suite bathroom. To the left there is going to be the freestanding bathtub. There's a skylight as you can see above. To the right we'll enter the really large primary closet, walk-in closet. Uh, to the left there, water closet, two vanities here. And then your shower with bench and niche. All of these homes come in the primary suite with wood cabin, uh, wood shelving and storage. I believe this plan has two five stacks in it and um, uh, enough hangers as well too. So it's not too uh, late as you can see to um, have some personalization if you want to choose um, you know flooring, painting, uh, tile for all of these areas like the shower. This is the time to do it. Um, just you know don't feel pressured but at least just call and inquire and let us know what your thoughts around design are so we can give you advice on the timing and how soon those decisions would need to be made. Uh, Westwood prides itself in delivering homes to clients uh, to meet their lifestyle and uh, wishes. So let's, uh, let's work together and see if lot number uh, eight here makes sense for you.